So I had a friend ask me about something that was happening um, in his place. Uh, he said that uh, when the air conditioning turns on, uh, that the lights begin to flicker. Now, if the lights are flickering, that could be due to a couple of things. Um, it could be normal and it, or it could be uh, problematic. Um, if, um, if you're seeing, if, if this is occurring in your place and whether it's the air conditioning turning on, uh, you know, like central air conditioning or a large air conditioner, or if you have um, something that draws a lot of current, like a, maybe an electric oven, uh, something like this, or you have a, maybe a shop uh, in the garage and using a lot of electricity, something like that. Whenever something turns on that draws a lot of current and you see the lights flicker, uh, if the lights are flickering such that they are turning off and on rapidly, um, more than likely you're, is what you're seeing is uh, a loose connection somewhere, a loose wire uh, somewhere, and it's most likely uh, caused by the vibration of the, the motor rotating uh, and causing uh, just the, the slightest uh, vibration in the wiring and causing uh, a loose wire to uh, ever so slightly um, become disconnected uh, just due to vibration while uh, the AC is turning on or while it's on. Now normally that doesn't happen, that, that would only occur <clears throat> if you have a connection that's become loose uh, over the years. Uh, so in that case it would just be a matter of finding that loose connection. It could be uh, in the circuit somewhere, uh, could be in the electrical panel, could be somewhere in the wiring or something, but kind of you narrow it down by what, which lights are flickering. You know, it could be in the light itself, or if it's happening in a number of fixtures or outlets where you have maybe table lamps or, or floor lamps plugged in, uh, you may have to kind of go through some outlets or some switches to locate the loose wire. You know, maybe check the, the circuit breaker uh, or in the electrical panel as well for a loose, a loose wire. Uh, and uh, so the other uh, thing that you might be seeing uh, and I, which is what I believe uh, my friend was, was seeing, is the lights were actually dimming. Um, and so say, for example, the lights were on at 100%, uh, and then the AC kicks on, and then the lights dim down to maybe 30% or 40% of the full brightness, and then they come back on. Yeah, so they're not actually flickering off and on. Um, what's happening there is um, the service, uh, this being provided to the house is uh, being taxed uh, such that the maximum amount of electricity is at its peak uh, virtually and so when the AC turns on because it's drawing so much current it's uh, kind of taking electricity from the rest of the outlets in the house you might notice uh, your refrigerator kind of slows down or uh, if you have the microwave on you might notice that it kind of slows down it's, or it sounds like it's slowing down so basically, the, um, when, the, when the air conditioner turns on and you're seeing like a, a dimming of the lights, um, uh, it's not anything that's fixable immediately. Uh, it's not like a loose connection or anything. Uh, basically, is what you're looking at doing is um, upgrading your service, which means replacing your panel, put a larger panel, um, and have your electrical utility upgrade your service, which generally is something that's done uh, by an electrical contractor unless you've uh, done that type of work in the past, which is a good chunk of, of work. Uh, but anyway, you'd have to upgrade your electrical service in order to prevent that from occurring. Uh, in and of itself, it's not harmful or bad. It may be a nuisance and annoying and it may cause uh, some other minor issues around the house, uh, but it's not something that's necessarily broken. Uh, nowadays, we all use a lot more electricity uh, in our homes than when the homes were first built. So we just kind of have to budget our electricity, if you will, kind of keep an eye out for stuff that uses a lot of electricity and you know not use things that take a lot of electricity all at the same time. One other thing about flickering lights, lights that uh, are flickering off and on, um, if you choose to look around your house for, uh, or if you choose to look around inside the, the outlet boxes and, and, and light fixtures uh, for a loose wire, is what you're going to see is a, if you find a loose wire, you're going to see a wire that's charred or burned or black or gray 
or ashy or brown. Um, and it'll, it'll look, depending on how long it's been um, uh, loose, uh, it'll be darker and blacker. Uh, if it's more recent, it'll just be kind of like gray and ashy. Uh, you know, if it's a white wire, it'll be discolored, you know, towards a black color. If it's a dark color, like a, like a blue or a black, it'll be discolored and it'll look grayish. Um, and then if it's, a, if it's been happening for a prolonged period of time, uh, the insulation on the wire itself could actually be damaged or melted or burned off. And you'll see uh, some of the insulation in some cases will actually be uh, blackened, uh, like as if you had put a match to it and, and melted the insulation. So uh, if you're seeing that happen, um, in this case, this is not the only case where you would see that, uh, if, if you see that, uh, that is uh, just an indicator of, of a, a loose wire that's been like that for, for a long time. And so it's quite easy to fix. You know, basically you're, it, you're probably just going to get a new wire nut and replace the wire nut. So uh, if you're not sure about any of this, uh, like I've mentioned before in other videos, contact an electrical contractor or an electrician to come out and take a look at it to make sure that um, they're finding out specifically where the problem is at. And so uh, they can find out if, if that's the problem and actually identify it and fix it for you. So I uh, hope that helps. Have a good day.